Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. So hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. And I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed your weekend. And uh, not that really, for a lot of people these days, uh, is much different than your week. Um, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see how long this quarantine lasts. But, while it does, I know a lot of people have been grinding on War Dragons. And some have even ended up getting the Mythic. So, out of the two, I would definitely suggest Nadja. I, it's a pretty clear uh, choice between Nadja and Denov. Honestly, Nadja is amazing. I'm going to do some guides on how to fly him. Um, but this video is about ruining. Because I've seen quite a few people asking me how I ruined mine. So, I'm going to show you what I did. And then I'll give some tips and suggestions as far as what you guys can do on yours. So, personally, I found that he needs a lot of HP. What he does not need is attack, all right? Because his main ability is his one-shot invoker, like, passive, right? So a one-shot spell doesn't really need a bunch of attack. But what this guy really needs is the ability to tank a ton of damage, especially whenever he gets rage drain and you're not able to use his shield. You can still take out a base as long as you can tank whatever shots you need to before, like, until you can take out all the damage dealing targets. So, this is a setup that I have. Uh, Mythic Rune of Pride, that is a rune that some of you guys might have that was from Laos's um, seasonal branch, like, I think a year and a half ago, maybe even two years now. 12% um, Dragon HP, that is the best HP rune in the game. Awesome rune. And if you have it, I would definitely suggest going it, um, throwing it on Nadja. As far as the glyphs go, I fortunately had the mythic glyphs from three different invokers that I've gotten from Seasons. Nadja's, um, who else? Morak and, what's his name? Shogrove. Now, if you don't have that, um, and I'm actually thinking about changing the invoker attack glyph and putting it on the mythic, or the, yeah, the mythic invoker from Eldritch tier, I would throw on some sort of rage glyph. So if you have the two Invoker HPs from, like, previous dragons, or previous Invokers from Seasons, I'd maybe do, like, two of the Mythic Lifts, and then maybe throw on a Mythic Rage. Or you can throw on a, uh, you know, the one from Morak, which gives the attack. Because, I mean, the attack isn't bad, right? But you're going to benefit more from HP. So as far as, like the critical stats that you need on this guy, I'd say in order, it goes, you want as much HP as possible, then you want rage, and then you want attack. Besides that, you know, there's not really a whole lot you can do with this guy, right? Because pretty much his skills don't have any runes for them. Mark Attribute, Smite, Protector's Resolve, Turn the Tide, none of these have any runes for them. So you're kind of stuck with just pure HP, then rage, and then attack, and, I mean, really, this guy is not going to do too bad. Um, I know his his legendary rune is actually quite nice. It increases Invoker HP as well as the Tribute uh, cooldown, which is awesome because that is his heal, right? Which is debatably more important than an extra rage. But, for me, i rather have the look of, you know, five Mythic runes because it looks fancy and it looks professional. Um, and it looks legit. So, anyways, that is how I'd ru ruin Nadja. Pretty quick video. Just want to let you guys know what I thought. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.